And we're live. Welcome. What's up, Emil? Hi. Hi. Hi, yeah. Good night's sleep? Uh, yeah. Ready for some coding? Okay, welcome to this, um, this live stream about make code from Microbit. And we're here uh, ready to do another hour of uh, this activity. We've got, uh, as usual, all the links on the video if you want to see the previous streams in the playlist uh, so if you want to follow on that and also if you're uh, if you're here watching live make sure you open um, so make sure you put this video in picture in picture uh, and you do that by right clicking on the video one time two times and then do picture in picture and that will create a little window on the side and you can move it and other than that you're going to want to go to to makecode.microbit.org. It oh, looks like our window got a bit moved. Let's see. Okay, let's adjust uh, just, just the image a bit so we can see the so we can see the address bar. There you go. So you want to see. There we go. Okay, uh, looks like we're ready. No, it's got got cut out for some reason. Okay, well, looks like we're ready. Let's, let's maybe move this one over here. And um, what are we doing today? Dice. Dice. Okay, so let's go down to the tutorials section. So we go down. We're on the home screen, and you see we've done flashing heart, name tag, done smiley buttons. Um, so we're going to click on dice. That's pretty exciting. Shake the dice and see what number comes up. All right. Well, let's start the tutorial and see what we're doing today. And yeah, make sure you follow with us at home. Uh, if you're watching this video and use the picture in picture to see the video and, uh, and the editor. Okay, Emil, let's see. We need so we're trying to do a dice. So what is a dice? Uh, um, you know, it's kind of a dice. It's, yeah, it's a dice. It's a dice. It's a uh, you typically, most dice have six numbers, right? Yeah. You throw the dice and then you get a number between one and six. So that's what we're going to try to do. But I think instead of throwing the micro bit and breaking it, uh, we're just going to shake it. Okay, so... We need three pieces of code, one to detect a throw, one to pick a random number, and one to show the number. And this is something that uh, you do commonly when you're coding. You try to kind of break down a big problem into smaller problems and then solve every small problem on its own. So let's start with the first one, which is detecting a throw. So what are instructions? Could you come back to that? Yeah. Place the onshake block in the editor workspace. It runs when you shake the micro bit. Okay, that's interesting. All right, let's let's uh, reduce that. And and where is that onshake block? Okay. It's an input. It's an input. Yeah. How did you know that? It's pink. It's pink, right? So there's color coding there. And also, if if it relates to a sensor, mm -hmm. um, it's probably an input. Okay. And it looks like. It's the same shape by forever on start. So things will start, the block will start running inside of onshake when you shake it. So let's put that in the workspace. I actually get rid of, let's get rid of on start and forever and put it, put it in the corner and let's zoom in a bit so we see more. All right. Now, um, actually put it in the corner so that we're far away from the video. Yeah. All right. So one thing that's interesting is, you know, before we get there is, now, how does Unshake work in the hardware? So, here's a quick, here's a quick fun uh, treasure hunt you can do if you have the micro bit. So, uh, Zeli, can you turn around the micro bit and maybe lift it a bit more towards the camera? I don't think this camera will be, but you'll see there's there's a uh, let's lift it all the way up. I'll keep lifting it there. Uh, maybe it works. Uh, come on, camera. All right, it doesn't. Um, you'll see there is uh, little markings, white markings on the, 
uh, on the camera, you'll see something called accelerometer, and it shows you the physical component that does that actually detects motion. What it does, it detects forces. And if you want to learn more about that, we've got a great video by, by Sean Heimel, and we'll link that in the YouTube movie that explains you the physics you know, how that's, that works at the kind of the at atom level um, in, the, in the thing, in the hardware. But we're back into coding and we're gonna do this shake. So I think we've done the, the first, the second mm -hmm. step. So we're gonna advance. And now, so remember three things we need to do. Detect a throw, show a number, Generate a random number and then show it. Okay, so now the next step is to show a number. And I think that's the block we haven't used yet. Yeah. Okay, so it's blue. Basic. Yeah, it's probably in basic. Okay, well, that simplifies the choice. Yeah. Right. And, and yeah, and you put it in inside of the shake so that it rubs when mm -hmm. you shake. Mm -hmm. Sounds. Makes sense. All right. I think we're done here. Yeah. Clicking on next. Oh yeah, math. Oh, math. Okay, put a pick random block in the show number to pick a random number. All right. So, so what is this pick random uh, block? Mm, looks like it's under math. Yeah. Okay, pick random, and it what it does it it's like a virtual dice actually. It it's gonna generate it's gonna throw a virtual dice in generate a number for you between 0 and 10. And where do you want to put it? In that slot right here. All right. And, and see how it light highlights, so it tells you exactly where it's going to go. And, it'll and then you let it go. Very good. Now, actually, let's try the program. See, there's something new on the simulator. And Emil is going to highlight it. The there's, uh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, OK. Oh, yeah. Right, so this is kind of a weird dice because uh, actually just uh, go to the simulator before we do the change. Mm -hmm. And you see this new button, like the shake button? Yeah, right. Okay, right so, so either you can wiggle your mouse as fast as possible, which is also fun, and then you trigger a shake of the micro bit. Or if you don't want to do that, you can also press the button. Yeah. Uh, it's hard. <laughs> or it's easier to actually, uh, no, just... Let's, let's not do the zoom it. Let's just click on the shake. Okay, so every time you click shake, you kind of trigger that. Yeah. Uh, now, sometimes, you see how it's weird? Like 10. Yeah. Okay, so let's try to, to fix that and let's go into the next step. I think we're going to fix it. And the reason is. No, yeah. no, no, they showed it here. So you can oh. go to six. A typical dice shows value between one and six. So pick random and don't forget to choose the right minimum and maximum value. And we have the hint. And we have the hint, but let's try it without the hint. Oh yeah. That's more fun. Then you can use the hint to check. So the first number is one. One. And then the next last number is six. And it's gonna generate every integer number between that. Mm -hmm. Um so let's try it again. We've we've made a change to our code, it's a good idea to test it. Five. All right. Three. Let's see what it looks like in the micro bits. So uh, let's go back. Uh, let's go through. Uh, actually, maybe the next step tells us to download it. Let's see. Use the simulator okay. to try out your code. Does it show the number you expected? Did that? Mm, kind of does. Yeah. I think we're good. All right. Download time. And uh, our assistant Zilly is ready. And Emil, can you go through uh, downloading? So click on download and wait for the dialog to show up. Connect your micro bit using the USB cable. Then the easiest way to do it is to right click, select save link as or save as, depending on your browser, and then find the micro bit drive and just save the file in it. Then click save. And then we're going to switch to our table view. And Zilli, you have to keep the micro bit in this corner. There you go. And it's, uh, so it's blinking right now and it's done blinking. So the problem is in it. And now give shake it a little it. shake. Shake it. 
Five. Woo! Let's try again. Six. Five. Six. Six. Oh, that's a... Five. Five. No, that was... Three. Six. Three. What's going on with one and two? Six and four. Oh, one. There we go. Two. And two. Four. All right. I think we got the, the move. <laughs> let's go back to that. Okay, so uh, I think we finished. Um, let's click finish and let's actually start. Um, we're going to make this, this dice generator way cooler. Um, so right now, you know, it's kind of showing number, but that's not how a dice looks like. No, let's try to create a real dice. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, what we would like to do is be able to draw these numbers. Mm -hmm. Well, just like the real dice. So we're going to have to do a few things here. First, um, and we're going to introduce some new concepts uh -huh. to do that. So we're getting in, we're kind of getting off-road here in the lesson. Um, what we're going to want to do is generate a random number. Uh -huh. And then based on the value of that number, uh, call those, those show LEDs block, right? So instead of calling show number, what we're going to do is actually... So what you want to do is first create a variable. So... In the variable section. Yeah. And a variable is very much like a piece of memory in your computer. It's a location in your brain, in the brain that is the computer, where you're going to be able to store data. So kind of... How do we name it? It's like a drawer where you're going to put a number and take it back. Uh, we're going to name it... Uh, how do you name... What do you name when you throw the dice and you get a number out? Uh, a try? No. Sample? No, like dice. Dice, oh yeah. Okay, let's call it dice. That's, that's clear. Yeah, and this is actually very interesting. You want to play this game of naming your variables in a, in a meaningful way. Otherwise, if you name them random stuff, your program is going to be very, very quickly, very confusing. Um, okay, so again, a variable is like a little draw where you can. So two things you can do. Here, this one, you can read what's in the drawer, or you can put stuff in the drawer. You can put a number in the drawer. So let's actually do the second block, which is set. And let's do that. Let's put it in the unshake. And now let's move the the random, the pick random one to six in the... This one? Yeah. And actually move it up. Uh, move the set dice above the show number. Okay. And now what we can do in show number, just to show how variables work, is to read this dice value. So if you go back to the variable uh, draw, you can see that there's, uh, there's a round dice. That means you're reading what's what the value of dice is. Mm -hmm. So we're going to grab this yeah. and put it in show number. So again, what we're doing here is generating a value and saving it in memory somewhere. And then we're going to read that value and show it on the screen. I'm going to turn on our Slow trusty mode. little snail. We need a nickname for the snail. Slow-mo. Slow mode is now. And uh, how about you go and click on shake, Emil, and then we'll see what's, what's happening here. So, first we generate the number and then we show it. Six. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing. Now, instead of showing a number, <coughs> we're going to do something more interesting. So, let's get rid of show number. That's not what we're going to do. And let's put a show LEDs. Do I keep this? No, we can't. Oh, yeah, let's keep that one. And so to draw, we're going to do a show LED. So let's get that. Do you remember where that block is? Yep, basic. Oh, there we go. All right, okay. let's put it under. And uh, let's draw. What number do you want to draw? Uh, zero, um, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. On the dice. You know how the dice look like? Oh, yeah. One. One. No, let's run the, the let's run shake. Let's see what's going on. Get on the, yeah. Shake. Oh, 
Okay, let's do it again. It kind of always shows one. So <laughs> it's pretty you... lame dice. Uh, but how do you kind of decide to do different uh, different LEDs, right? You put more of them. But then they're all going to run in sequence. Oh, yeah. Right? Let's put another one. Let's see what, what goes on. So Two. you're probably going to have to zoom out. A little bit. All right. So yeah. if I do two LEDs, show LEDs here. Mm -hmm, I'm just gonna do. Uh, how does two look like? Uh, I think can... it's on the diagonals. Yeah. Uh, go center. No, no, no. Oh, now go on all the far out, far out diagonals. Yeah. Wait, we can. Or you know, you could do the inside one. Just this one. That sounds good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's two. Okay, so let's try to shake. Okay, that's very not what we want because it's going to show every image is. Now, <coughs> we're going to introduce something new here. Could we do like if one if, through? Yes, exactly. We're going to introduce some logic. So we're going to have the computer run different blocks based on the value of this dice. So if you click on logic, You see that there's this stuff called conditionals, and uh, the second one looks pretty good. It says if something, then and then else. So let's let's put this one in the in our in our block here. Actually, put it in between set and show less. Can you? Yes. Okay. So what we're going to want to do is put one show light in one uh, mouth and then the other one in the other mouth. So we bring it down here. All right. Okay, so let's zoom in a bit and see what's going on here. So the program runs, mm -hmm. and then it tries, it checks this value. And it's pretty much what you do in your brain. It's like, oh, if, you know, if I'm thirsty, then I drink. Mm -hmm. Else, well, I don't drink. And this is the same. It's going to test this variable, this value here, which is true that means this is always going to be true and if we run shake what you're going to see is that the snail i mean i'll just do the mouth because yeah. the snail is always going to go into the into the true part because let's do it again well because true is always true mm -hmm. so the second step into getting this dice thing is to actually check whether so check whether the dice is equal to one so if the dice is equal to one, we want to show the one drawing. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go back to logic and find the logic. Oh, yeah. And now you see this, this second group is comparison. And the first one is equality. Mm -hmm. So we do that? Yeah. And see how the shape is like also diamond? Mm -hmm. So put it in the diamond shape there instead of the true. All right, so we're reading, we're saying if the dice. So I'm gonna put this in. Yeah. If the dice is equal to what? One. One, let's try it. Then show the one image, otherwise uh, show the two image. Let's test that. If this works, what we should see is, sometimes it goes in two, in fact, It'll always Most time, five gonna, out of six times. Yeah, it'll go so into that it. might take a long time, um, but this is actually how we're going to do our dice. So now let's scroll down to the bottom of the if statement. You see, there's this plus button mm -hmm. here. Uh, so everybody, if you scroll down, you see under the else here, there's a plus, and it lets you actually add more cases where you're going to check things. So if I click on plus here, you see that there's one more case that arrived. Mm -hmm. And really, you want to read that in your head, like, oh, if the dice is equal to one, then I'm going to show one. If the dice is equal to, so what's going to be the second case? We want to check. Uh, if the dice is equal to two. All right, so let's let's do that. Let's put the code to check that dice is equal to two. Let me see if you've, uh, you still remember that. Mm, see, the shapes don't match. Yeah. So we're missing something. Right, so we're on equality. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna check that. Then and again, 
read the story in your head. If the dice is equal to two, mm -hmm. so that's um, okay. So that's where we find our dice variables. Excellent. And how does it read? If the dice is equal to one, then show one. Else, if the dice is equal to zero, then show. Okay, so we probably don't want zero here. And we want two. And now, so look closely at the block. See if something, something looks wrong because there's nothing under the else if. Oh yeah, we have to put this here. Probably want to put it here, yes. Okay, so now most of the time it's going to show nothing, I guess. Mm -hmm. Big shake. We have a chance out of three to see a number. Well, of two. Well, one, two. Daddy, it goes zero, one, two. Oh, no. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and a dice. Yeah, we're missing a lot of number. Okay, let's add all of them. So we do plus. So here's a quick tip. You can right-click on the equality block and clone it. And duplicate it. Yeah, right click on. Oh, you went to redo it? Okay, perfect. Equality, else, and we're checking which number this time? So we're going to put the dice in. The dice, perfect. Oh, we can put the eight. All right. And what's going to be the value? Um, we need a draw. And then we're going to draw one. And we're going to draw one. Excellent. And let's scroll, yeah, drop it in the right spot. Let's scroll the whole view up. Okay, and three, three I think looks, uh, yes. yes, like this. Perfect. Okay. Now, what else do we need? It's 50% chance that we have a number. Yeah, starting to work, starting to look good. Um, the three's not working. Yeah, because we were not lucky. We didn't see the three. Add some more. Yeah, maybe at the end you can see. The, maybe actually, zoom in one more time and and move up so that yeah. it's clear in the video. Keep move back all the way up. Just do that. Okay. This? Let's, let's move like this because see my our face are, are hiding. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Hmm. Uh, so we've checked one, two, three. And then we need four. We need four. Let's go for four. Dice is there, and we're checking that dice is equal to four. Cool. Hmm. And make another one. What is a four? Four. We really need a real dice. We should have picked up a real dice to figure out. Uh, uh, four is. I think it's the corners. Oh, isn't that like five? Let's do the inner corners. Yeah, that's four. Isn't, isn't this five? That's yeah. five. Yeah. yeah. Just move to the center. But uh, I think oh, we're yeah, not using. Four. We're that's using four. the inner corners. That's four. Oh, okay. The inner corners. Ultimately, you can do whatever you want. You could you could uh, change the style of the dice if you wanted to. All right. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, five six. <coughs> it's a virtual dice. You could have a million faces if you want to. We have 25, uh, 25 LEDs. How many dice faces can we do? Twenty-five. No. A bit more. Uh, fifty. I'll let the people watching the video figure it out. So the quiz question is, how many dice can you face can you show on this little screen? It's a five by five screen, so you have 25 LEDs, and each LED can be turned on and off. It's going to be a long time for you to count all the options. Emil's counting the options. <laughs> 29. 30. I'm not saying the answer. I'll, I'll see if people can uh, go to our FibGit and try to tell us the answer and explain what, what you found. It's going to be a cool quiz. All right. Um, 
One, two, three, four. What else? Um, five. Five. And six. five. Let's do five and six. Let's get this dice going. All right. Five here, and check your number, and then draw five. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, no, that's the pink no. one. The blue no. one. Mm, I forgot. Yeah, right here. Emil. So the. Okay. You remember the four. Five. And five. It's like the four plus one. There you go. All right. Now here's the trick. Um, so we've covered one. Two, three, four, five. What's left? Six. So if the number is neither one, neither two, or three, or four, or five, there's something we know about it. It'll be six. It'll be six. So do we actually have to, do we actually have to do an if here? Um, we could. We could, but we don't have to because we know that it's going to land here if all the other choices are wrong. If you go back to all the choices, we basically tried all the choices. One, two, three, four, five. It's like, okay, it's none of these choices, so obviously. It's six. It's six. But we still want to add it. Why not? We still want to add it, but we don't have to do the if stuff. We can just draw it. Yeah. So let's go and add a show LEDs in the under the else and draw a six. Yeah, we're at home. I think there's piano going on. <laughs> uh, I think you want to do three, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, let's try the dice on the simulator. Actually, the zoom out so we see where it's going. Zoom out so we see all the, the sections. Oh, no, the, just scroll the view. Yeah, okay. Keep zooming out. Yeah, it's a lot. But I think we should s probably be able to see. Okay, let's, let's hit shake again. Let's see if I can, okay. Yeah, all right, that's, fine. that's good. And boom, three. Five. All right, you ready, Zilly, for the that transfer? Be six. Two. Okay, Emil, let's go down, do a download. Yep. So to download, click on download, connect your micro bit with the micro USB cable, right click on the, down, the green button, save link as, and pick the micro bit drive. All right, and while it's transferring, you'll see the yellow light blinking as usual. That means you're good to go. And then our assistant here uh, is going to try to throw some dice. No, shake it. Shake it. Shake Four. It. Five. Five. Six. Six. Three. Four. Now let's do something even more fun. I'm going to plug in the battery pack. And you hold it in your hand. Hold it like this. All right. And you can walk around and four, three, five. Okay, now here's another quiz. If you have the hardware, it's another quiz for you people. If you have the hardware, the LEDs are not blinking if you look at it with your eyes, but if you look at it with the camera, they're blinking. And I'll take answers on why that is happening. That's another quiz in our stream. Ooh, why are the LEDs blinking on camera? I know, I know. Oh, no, yeah. you're gonna have to go to Flipgrid and put an answer. <laughs> All right, so we've got two quiz today. Uh, things we've discovered, we've asked. Um, let me go back to our face, to our code here. Uh, one question is, how many dice, how many faces of a dice could you draw on this 5x5 five five screen? And why? And 22. Then, Wait, no, let's see. We'll take all the answer. We'll see who, who's the winner. Uh, and then second answer, second question is, why are the LEDs blinking when we film them? 250. Maybe. Maybe. 
What's the answer? You need to explain why. What's your number? Why the number is what it is. And then there's uh, 25, and you can do 25 different ways, and so it's yeah. 250. I want to see the math. <laughs> okay. Um. You sure it's only 250? Okay, 5,000. No. I'll I'll tell you it's kind of related to binary numbers. So. What's a binary number? You know, like these sequence of zeros and ones. Oh yeah. Oh, you try to beat do you the count by ones? All right. Then? Well, and this concludes the streaming. I think we're gonna try to keep these streams at around 30 minutes. Uh, and today this was building a dice, and then we first used the show number, but we wanted to do a better dice. And here's our dice. If we lose dice for a board game, you can just do that. Yeah, you could. And also you could cheat. You could, uh, <laughs> you could, we could show you how to do some cheats in the dice. Uh, so we've got a super cool dice here that we can use to play board games. Mm -hmm. um, and after the tutorial, we actually learned about variables and conditionals and Boolean operations. Mm -hmm. So true and false to build a dice that actually looks more like a dice than just showing a number. Yeah. Um, so welcome to, uh, thank you for following this. We'll be back tomorrow, uh, same time, uh, to do another tutorial on the micro bit. Uh, see you later for uh, Minecraft. And now